Are your meetings running over time and lacking focus? Do you feel like you're drowning in action items with no clear way to keep track? If so, you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna show you how to transform your meeting management from all over the place to seamless using ClickUp. And welcome back to our channel where we help you streamline your processes and maximize your productivity. If you're new around here, hey there, my name's Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a ClickUp verified consultant. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on our latest tips and tutorials. In this video, we're tracking meeting management, a crucial component of any successful team. I will guide you step-by-step step on how to master ClickUp's powerful features to keep your meetings organized, efficient, and productive. Ready to revolutionize the way you manage your meetings? Let's dive in. So in here, you will see that there is this uh, fancy icon. So what does this mean? This is in the list settings, the default task type. We have set the default task type to meeting. So if you want to add or change any task types within your ClickUp, you can always click on this task types, create different ones. You can see here we have training, out of office, meeting, sales. Um, these are for different purposes, of course, and then task milestone are created by ClickUp and their default. So you can always create a task type, choose an icon, put singular or plural, and then have these to be able to use in your ClickUp. So this way, when a meeting shows up on the calendar, so let me actually show this one as a due date of today, then you're gonna see it's going to have that icon so you know that it's not a regular task, it's that specific task type. So again, if you have task types and then you want every single task that you enter in that list to always be that task type, you navigate that in the list settings, default task type, and then you choose that task type. Okay, so in this list, we currently have this as grouped by the custom field meeting type. You can absolutely change these meeting, meeting types, add your own by clicking add slash edit options. You can change the colors, you can delete meeting types, add that whatever you want to do there. So uh, we group these, right? So you can see weekly management meeting, new hire, team onboarding, weekly team meeting. And then we suggest that you put the assignees of whoever is going to be on that meeting. You put them there. Or if it's a specific department-wide meeting or a team meeting as a whole, that you can just add that ClickUp team. You can find ClickUp teams in the settings section in teams here. You can go ahead and add specific teams and then add the team members to that. So a couple extra bonus tips here for you in this video. So uh, up here at the top, you'll also see the calendar view, right? So you can see all of your calendars at a glance all the meetings at a glance, and then also the meeting agenda templates. So here we have provided a few examples for you. So you can see this general meeting agenda template where you could put the meeting objective, attendees, links, items and notes, action items. A note about this as well, as you're actually typing in this for action items, a quick hack, you can actually highlight over that task and click add task and then add where you want to put this in here. So let's say I want to put this into Christy's task list. I want to assign it to her for a due date of whatever day. Then if you create this task, it's now actually going to create it in that list and you can open up right to that task. It will also keep it updated. So say I complete this, then you'll know once it's green, it's been completed. So super cool hack there as well. So then we have the team meeting agenda template. So you can see how you can get fancy with different tables and things like that. And then reflection and goal planning as well. So here are some examples of just templates that you can store in this document. But what we suggest in terms of actually storing your meeting notes is in the actual task itself. So what we do is in the task, because this is showing up on our calendar, 
Then we suggest that you click add new document and then the document will be housed in this task itself. So we have the agenda up at the top and then we would have 2024 weekly team meetings, January, and then 1-1-2024 weekly team meeting as an example. So this way, every time we, you know, it's Monday rolls around 9 a.m., we can just come in here, access the agenda, click that open, and then be able to get right into the meeting. So that is the gist of this training. The other thing I highly recommend is actually putting the times. So say this was 9 to 9.30, I would put 9 to 9.30. And then if it's recurring, I would set this as recurring, as weekly, bi-weekly, whatever it may be, and then save. So then when this completes, it's just going to pop right up for next week. And there you have it, everything that you need to master meeting management in ClickUp. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're now ready to take your meeting productivity to the next level. But to make things even easier for you, we've created a free meeting management ClickUp template that you can download right now. This template includes everything we've covered in this video, from agenda setting to task and action item management, and it's designed to streamline your meeting process to the max. Just click the link in the description below to snag your free template. Trust me, it's a game changer. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your team. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. You never miss out on our latest productivity tips and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.